Freedom to me is holding my baby boy. Freedom to me is seeing my wife. Freedom to me is mentoring music and, and working and um, talking with people that I love. And freedom to me is life. In our household, we was going through a lot of financial issues. I witnessed a lot of substance abuse, physical abuse, and me growing up amongst that, I tend to carry that on in my life. And I was 16 years old already selling drugs. And at the time, we didn't have any like heat in the house. So it was backed up. And me being a guy I was at that time was like, we gonna do what we gotta do to not let my siblings suffer. So I choose to um, do a robbery. I was one of those individuals as, I'm not getting caught. I can't get caught. My name got caught up and the police came and got me and I was sentenced to 12 years. And that's when my prison career started. When you put a, a young guy into a man's world and you have to survive like them, you have to act like them, you have to be like them in so many words. You didn't have no choice. I didn't have no choice but to. All my friends was killers. Everybody that I knew from me working out with them, from me eating with them, for me playing basketball with him, for me walking the yard was straight killers. And you got a guy that's in there for a robbery that's 16 years old, so I had to adapt like them. I had to act like them. That, that, was, that was my life every day. It's like you in, you, you in a different world. You, you a number. And I was a number for what, 11 and a half years. But at the end of the day, I put myself in there. My upbringing was, was more violent than love. But if you've been raised around violence and stuff like that, that's what you're gonna, that's the outcome of, of you unless someone helped you change your life. I never had that. So when that gate opened, I had on tan outfit on, black boots, and $16 in my pocket for me working in prison. I've been gone 11 years. I didn't have nothing. I didn't know how to fill out a Advocation, I didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't know how to, I was more of an alien to society. So that right there put a fire in my heart and my soul to get everything in a good way that I needed. I got connected with a mentor through Seven Times Seven. I've been with Drew for four years, and Drew is one of the main individuals that really changed my life. My spiritual, how the way I treat my family. I look at things totally differently. My wife broke that down. She made me not to become hard. She made me Love. Everybody just want to listen. Yeah, like if you listen and they, and, and they talk, and they just want that ear. I put myself in those individual shoes because I was like them. Now, even when I talk to Chris, he's going through what he's going through. I said, man, you need to buy your freedom because once your freedom is gone, then what? 
you're gonna be like me when I was 16 to 27 years old, like that. If you in a bad situation, turn it around. You don't have to be like that. My hope for Maddox is not to grow up how I grew up, to be loved more. He, he got family that love him to death. He gonna have his bumps, he gonna have his ups and downs, and, and me, his father's gonna be there to pick him up.